Now I'm a real sucker for anything with RGB LEDs and today I'm going to be showing you the Yearlight Cube. I did buy this with my own money and I'm so glad I did. So the Yearlight Cube is a super awesome modular RGB LED system that you can build up and use to create all sorts of LED effects. As you see, they clip together using a magnetic system and this is how it carries the power between each unit. So these can be built up in as many different orientations as you like and create some super amazing effects. So they also have things like clocks that are available easily to use. You can also create your own different, they've got all these different sort of logos and things and designs that you can use and create your own as well. They work with Apple HomeKit, Alexa, Google Home, SmartThings, and of course, Home Assistant, even though they don't say so there. So there's three types of cubes. There's a matrix, a panel, and a spotlight. So I bought something called the Clock Kit, which has got four of these cubes along with the power unit. So the power unit is a smaller brick that goes on the edge and it comes with the power supply that plugs in quite nicely like that. This is made of a really nice type of plastic. It's a matte plastic. It's got the logo there and the cubes are made of exactly the same type of plastic. Now, if we look at the individual cube, you can see on the one side, we've got a unit here, push a little bit of a, a pushing out piece with four of these connectors, which will connect magnetically to these four rings, which are the power supply. On the other side, we've got a female. So if we take one of these bricks and we connect it, it fits together quite smoothly like that. If we look at the other side, of course, the power side, if we now go and connect this power one up like that, there we go. The first cube is immediately powered up. If we bring our next one along, we plug that in, we now have two. And similarly, you can carry on and on. Um, there we go, there's the next one. So the Yeelight app is really easy to use. I can go along here and you can see I've got a whole lot of predefined different sort of patterns. We can adjust our brightness over here. And then down here we can select, we can either create our own custom artwork collections here, or we can select from ones that are already there. There are a whole lot of collections available that you can select from. Um, here's the clock. So if we go into the clock mode, we can select date or just date and time. Um, we can also select whether our little piece in the middle is blinking, and then we can select from different color clock designs. Now we also have this thing, which is a platform fan display. So for example, I can have my Home Assistant channel and it will display the number of subscribers on my channel. Now another thing that I really like about this is the music flow. So, so we can select different types of music visualizations or noise visualizations. And as we change them, you can see we've got different patterns and we can also select different colors. Along. So to add this to Home Assistant, we have a Home Assistant integration. So we just go to Devices and Services, Add Integration, search for Yearlight. There we go. Select it. Uh, we've got Yearlight. We click on that. If you leave it empty, it's going to discover it. So let's just go Submit, and it's going to search for it. There we go. It's found it for us. And away we go. Uh, we can select an area for that. So I'm going to say I've got that in the living room. I'm going to finish. And we scroll down. Here is our Yearlight device. Now it is fairly limited. We only have a um, color selection here. So we can change the broad colors. Or we can go here to our little color wheel like this. And then we have our on and our off. And obviously our brightness associated with that. So we can't actually send any of the custom um, printing or anything to the screen, which is something I'd really like to be able to do. So if anyone is able to work out a way of doing that, that would be really great. So having a look at the Home Assistant Yearlight page, it seems there are some ways to do some custom effects like RGB transitions by using the, camel, the YAML coding and there's also some other things such as the music mode, 
um, night mode, etc., that you can do. But I still don't think there's any way to create your own custom printing on the screen. So anyway, that's all for me now. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do like my content, please like and subscribe so I can bring you more in the future. Bye for now. <music>